Okay, Duet Learning with Satori, part 2. This is going to show the rest of the skills I can learn at my current level to the end of the Palace of Earth Spirits, since the Hell of Blazing Fire and the Palace of the Earth Spirits are the only places that I don't have skills yet. So, starting off with these enemies, the Flame, you can never guess what they can teach. Oh man, let's wait and watch, just to make sure. No. No. There it is. The flame can teach flame. Like shown right there. So that's one of the few spells you can learn in here. I think you can learn four spells in here. Yeah, four spells for now. Once you reach level 20, you can get one more spell, and it's a really good spell. That's another one, but didn't learn it, so eh. However, that time I did. So, this whole thing, originally, used to be two hours long, because of the very last skill I learned. Which requires controlling, using Biakarin. Or, if you want to do it without Biakarin, you have to get Satori's last word and manage to inflict control. But that's for another time. Fire Breath, Skewer, and... Uh, flame have been learned so far. There is one more to learn, and... I'm going to have to show a compilation of exactly how horrible the enemies are at using it. And here it is. The Zombie Fairy. Energy Drain is what it's supposed to use, but it apparently doesn't know how to do it, so it's just going to keep using its normal attack instead. It has full MP, by the way. And... Eventually... I'm just like... You know what, this isn't working. And another one used energy drain. I didn't get it, and this is a different encounter. One... Energy drain. Energy drain, got it. Neat. And that is all in the Hell of Blazing Fire, so only one more place remains before I can actually move on with the game. Learned Energy Drain and Quagmire. The Mind Flare can teach Mind Blast. And Instant Death happens, yeah, that's very unfortunate. But, there are only a couple spells left, and my first full party wipe. My favorite part is what Alice says. Yeah, this is a squid like you guys. Way to go, Alice. You know everything. And this is just to show my first defeat of this thing, because I have never heard of this enemy, and I've never heard of the spell that it teaches. You absolutely have to... <clears throat> You absolutely have to use control on it using Biakarin. Makai Temptation learned at level 14 with her. Spider Net also learned right here. And the Gobi, which is that shark thing. And the Wiki, it says to learn the spell, you have to. Beep. You have to... Beep. You have to fight an enemy called the Guzu. Which, by that, it means Gobi. The wiki isn't exactly the best place to look, but... It taught me about this skill, I guess. By the way, it's not worth it at all. But... This is to show my setup for how I try and inflict control on it. 
induction raising formation. Hypnotic bullet to be exact. Use Sophia's commander bomb and watch the Makai Temptations not work. Until eventually that. And now this is actually the take where I finally get it. Makai Temptation not very easy to use on this thing. At this point in the game at least. Maybe if you get induction raising accessories and stuff like that. But I didn't do that. I was really hoping it didn't snap itself out of control with that fire breath. But yeah, clearance. Use it on Satori, it has a 50% chance of being learned. And if you invest some points into her skill learning tree, enough to where it says learning plus 100%, then you will have a 100% chance at learning clearance. Because 50% is 100% in this case, so double 50% and that would be 100% because you add an extra 100%. So basically, 200% of 50%. So that's 100%. Math is fun. Okay. Anyways, I beat it. And I got my last spell for the place. Clearance. And now to show you all of the skills I have with Satori to this point. So yeah, this used to be at least two hours. And I will actually see you next time. This has been really annoying.